We'll continue our introduction and discussion of setting up an SPSS by taking a look at the sample data that comes as part of the SPSS application. The really nice thing about that is it allows you to get started now and start working with things and see how SPSS works. The hard part, however, is that it's totally hidden. And so you need to know where to look in order to use the sample data. Now, if you're on a Macintosh like I am, then it's going to be in your applications folder under IBM SPSS statistics 22 or whatever version you're using, then samples, and then in English, then you'll have them. In Windows, it's a little bit different. It's going to be C, Program Files, IBM, SPSS, Statistics, 22, or whatever version you have, Samples, and then English. So you have to navigate to that manually in order to be able to find those. But when you do, you'll see a bunch of files there. Now there's a few kinds in particular that are important. There are the .sav files. These are data files in the proprietary SPSS format. They can only be opened up in SPSS, usually. And there are also .sps files. And these are SPSS syntax files. They're text files with the commands that can run a number of analyses and graphs and other functions in SPSS. Now, we can try it in SPSS by having you on your computer open up the window and opening up a file called demo.save. But let me show you how it works. When you navigate to the folder with the SPSS sample files in it, and again, it's several hidden layers down, these are the files that you'll find. These are the .sav data files, and these are the .spss syntax files. Now, there are other things in there. There's something called a CSA plan. That's an analysis plan. There's an XML file, and there's a few other things in there. But the majority of what we want to deal with, in fact, Rephrase. But the only ones that we're going to deal with are the .sav files and possibly the .spss files. Let's scroll down here until we find demo.save. Now, please note, there's a lot of other demo files around that, so you want this one in particular, demo.sav, because that's the SPSS file. I'm going to double click on that. And SPSS opens up the file. Now, you can set SPSS so that it has only one data file open at a time, or you can have multiples. I'm going to close this empty file right here. But here is our demo file. And this allows us to start working with a lot of the analyses and see how they work. In fact, I'll be using this file all the way through this entire course, because it allows you to do a number of analyses that require specific kinds of data. And this has it all set up. So I'll show you a very quick one. I'm going to come up to Analyze and to Explore. And I will get Level of Education and put that in. And so I have a long list of variables that I can work with. These are all the same variables. And I'll just hit OK. And that opens up my output window. Again, it opens it up microscopically here in the top corner. So I'm going to make it bigger. And now, I'm able to start working with my sample data. And that allows me to get some hands on experience to see how the functions work in SPSS and to try some of the options and see how they affect things.